Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Heroes Chronicles Conquest of the Underworld. I'm sorry, guys. I just had the greatest, literal greatest facepalm moment I've had in all of Heroes, I think. It's probably the greatest. Uh, the Heroes series of all time. Oh my god, it was so good. Alright, so I'll show you when we get there, but I started off. We start off with very little. I went to do this first fight, I'm like, oh, I've got 320 mana, all the spell power in the world. I'm faced off against, like, 30 skeletons, maybe, give or take, right? And they're all in, like, groups of five that are coming toward my people. I don't have that many people. I'm like, I'll just kill them all with Destroy Undead, except I did Death Ripple instead of Destroy Undead, which killed my people. His, it was great. Anyway, so, yeah, that's, that's what I got to do right before I restarted here. All right, so we're going to go to Jorm's Ambush. Tartum must gain access to the Spirit of Oppression without getting himself killed. All heroes will be limited to level 24, but Tartum and his two best captains will transfer to the next scenario with all of their skills, spells, and experience. That being said, let's hop in and begin. We have a choice of knowledge or power. We're going to go with power. Also, we're going to go with the hardest difficulty because why not? And let's see what's up. Every arm that has entered the underworld has been and Tarnum soon found out what kind of effect sleepless nights and the absence of the sun can have on troops. He watched the mental state of his troops crumble slowly, knowing all the while that if he didn't find a way to defeat the underworld itself, he would lose. Would he, though? Would he really? I mean, he is the immortal hero. You would think that he would still find a way. I wonder if I'll ever get used to the endless bending tunnels of the underworld. How could this chaos be natural? But then, if I ever did grow accustomed to these mad caverns, would it mean that I, too, have gone insane? Well, I've learned a lesson from my mistakes to defend my castle. I'll have to assign one of my captains to guard it, and maybe a week or two worth of recruits as well. Or, we can just use the fly skill and totally break the game again. That is an option. Not sure it's the best option. Anyway, I had a good old Cuthbert. I went over here, I attacked this guy. Death Ripple killed my troops. It was bad. Also, I didn't have as many troops last time. I feel this is odd. Like, I didn't have the Griffins last time. Yeah. It's interesting. Alright, well, let's go gather up. If you look, we have literally nothing. We have no money, no nothing. We have nothing. Not a thing. So, we need to get some things, or we're not going to do well. So, I will do my best to get some things, I guess. I'm going to grab this up, going to get this. I don't know that I need to go down that way. I I don't think I do necessarily, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Oh, you have all the cool stuff. Nice. You have nothing, you suck. It's fine. Alright, well, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to kill this with the right spell this time. And then we'll continue on from there. Gosh, it was so good. Good old Death Ripple. Why not? Yeah, so I'm like, all right, we got this. We've got so much power. Death Ripple wanted this spell. Bit awkward. Bit awkward. It's fine. Yeah, well, ooh, we can't recruit archers. Oh, that's a bit odd. Yeah, we'll get stuff handled. As we do. Sir, wait up. You come to a stop and wait for the young man to catch up. I have information, sir, he says. There is a valuable purse to the north being guarded by bone dragons. This purse will keep you well supplied with gold for a long time. I thank you for this information. What would you like as a reward, you ask? To join your army. I'm just a cook's assistant right now. I collect firewood mostly, but I would love to carry a sword into battle. Fight by your side. A brave lad. Very well. You're relieved of your present duties. Go to Worthington and talk to the sergeant at arms there. They'll give you all you need. I will, sir. And I'll get my friends to join, too. As you should. So apparently there's a dragon guarding a bag of gold. An endless bag of gold or some such thing like that. Uh, that we should probably look into acquiring. Hmm. It sounds like a legit strategy. If I do say so myself. And we're already kind of north, so... Not a lot of... Like... We, we should probably be able to do it? I Oh, the yeah, I see it. It's up there. Alright, this won't be much of a challenge either, unfortunately for them. 
they will probably die a horrible death. Now, I should have some other cool spells that I can utilize, like Fireball. Boom! Down you go. And then we're going to wait, and I guess I'll just shoot you, because why not? Eh, you almost made it to me. And you're dead. Alright, so, meh. The Godhouse. Yes, I would like more pikemen. Thank you. I don't know how many. There's a pack of bone dragons. Well, if we're lucky, we should be okay. Oh, do we have allies again? Is, is that why we're seeing you guys? It's always weird when we have allies. I'm just saying. It's, it's very strange to me. Alright, bone dragons. Let's see if I can get myself... Oh boy, I think I may have made a mistake. That is more than I anticipated. Okay, next creature, next creature. Uh, uh, uh. Woo, boy. I don't know that chain lightning is going to be enough. I don't think uh, Destroy Undead's going to be enough either. Well, we'll try Chain Lightning. That was effective. Um, I don't, I don't know, gosh. We're, we're still alive, I think. Oh gosh, this is not great. Okay, well we have a few skills here that we can use. Dun 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 dun. All right, so let's go and uh, get rid of this guy, shall we? Eh, some losses, but whatever. We got the endless bag of gold immediately. It's gonna help a lot. In your travels, you find a leather purse filled with gold that once belonged to a great warrior king who had the ability to transform any inanimate object into gold. The endless purse of gold, 500 gold per day. Pretty big deal. Worth the little bit of losses that we just suffered. I think, anyway. Could be wrong, and I have been many times before, so... We'll just have to assume that I'm not wrong this time around. Alright, gonna have to get some extra cash monies and other rando stuff going our way. But don't you worry, we'll be okay. I'm not really sure what the the plan is here. I think we're, again, I think we're going to be okay, but we'll see. Let's get the barracks up and running. Alright. I'm hoping that those are allies, but again, we'll see. Alright, Zambies. Let's go and do the fighting and stuff. Uh-huh. It's not Death Ripple our team again. Thank you. Destroy Undead. Simple and easy. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Free cash monies. That. More cash monies. And some of this. I don't want to go there yet. And I believe I would like to return to our castle. Our castle in the sky. Yeah, I'll recruit archers. And I'll go deal with the skeletons. The skeletons will die. Oh. What a thing. Alright. Oh look, they have a lot of blind creatures coming to murder me. Whatever will I do? Well, mostly just stand here and look cool. But, also, not that. There it is. Eh. Yeah, why not? Let's let's have some fun. We'll mix it up a bit. We'll mix it up a bit. All right, I think I'm gonna move out and be all like, "Hey, man, hold on." Before we continue, I know we don't have a tremendous amount of stuff, so let's just do it this way. All right, you guys, beat on those or on the elementals there. You totally got this, I believe. I don't believe. Not even a little bit. All right, and you're dead. 
Again, we have a lot of different tools at our disposal at this point. So we can get away with quite a few things without having to worry too much about most of them. Come across an old wagon left by a trader who didn't quite make it to safe terrain inside, you find... To a Mercury. Cool. I've spent my life buying, selling, and collecting artifacts, but lately I've been spending so much time, so much money acquiring new pieces I can hardly turn a profit. I think I might be able to start mass producing artifacts, but I've got to have one first to copy. If you could bring me the inexhaustible cart of ore, I will reward your efforts. Yeah, probably not going to do that if I'm being 100% honest, because I like that item. A whole heck of a lot. I don't know that we can necessarily kill that guy. Alright. So we've done all that stuff. I imagine we're going to have a lot of underground things to deal with. We are short on that. Well, whatever. 5,000 monies. Start making more money. It's not the ideal situation, but it'll work. Discovering a pair of beautifully beaded boots made from the finest, softest leather. You thank the anonymous donor and add the boots to your inventory, which gives us necromancy skills. Boy, that's so useful. Boy, howdy. Thank you so very, very much. Alright, let's waddle on down that way. I don't know what I want to do with you. Lots of evil eyes. Eh. Split it up a little bit over here. 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 I don't know. It's silly at this point, but whatever. Alright, you've come upon uh, the remains of an unfortunate adventurer searching through the scattered bones. You find the speculum. 1 2 scouting radius. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. Theoretically, we're going to survive, but we're also going to get hammered pretty badly. Alright, so that was a lot of annoyance. Not going to lie. Did not enjoy it. Much like you're not going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. And while I would love to just annihilate you with one spell, I don't believe I have the oomph to do so. But now I do. Alright. Alrighty. Swordsman, yes, I will recruit you. You silly, silly buggers. Alright. Boogers? I, I don't know. It's fine. Uh, I don't care about the gogs right now. Let's get on over here. And get ourselves a griffin tower. Because I really like griffins, I guess. Not really. I think they suck. But that's just me. Uh, they have their they have their moments, but generally you have to put them in a position where they have to get hurt and murdered a lot, and I'm not a fan of that part of it. That part of it, I think, is actually quite the most awful part of it. All right, we're gonna do that. I'm sorry, guys, if you hear my squeaky arm. My chair arm is like, hey, I'm just gonna squeak and be super annoying. Surprise! And I'm like, yay, that's awful. Please don't do that, ever. But it does it, so. Meh. All right, so there we are. All that has happened. I guess I'm going to go down there and get some other... St it's, it's fine. All right. Oh, there's movement from an enemy. The clerics have discovered that another piece of the Angelic Alliance is located on this level. It is called the Celestial Necklace of Bliss. A powerful holy artifact that was lost in the underworld by a crusading knight he failed to return from his... Or from this cursed place. Huh, cool. Who failed to return? Uh, anyway. However, rumor has it that no one can possess the celestial necklace without first proving their worth. I wonder what test lies ahead of me. The young man who told you about the sack of gold took his time getting his buddies together. But he did get them. Now you have some extra pikemen ready and waiting. Hey, cool. They're going to all die a horrible death. I'm just saying it right now. Just be aware. They will not last the day. They might last the day. But it's going to be bad. Okay, so that's a thing that we've done. I guess I'll go here and, and aggro these guys. Meh. Start combat. 
Come for oh. I hope that doesn't happen again. Really, dude? Really? Well, this may be horrible, and by horrible I mean, yep, it's gonna hurt a lot, but never mind. It's fine. Yay, we're heroes. Nice wall pikemen, join me. Join me, men of pikes. Join me. Alright, Griffin Bastion. We can't do the monastery because, again, we are short on that. The stables will be fine. Let's get them. Be a bit more movement for us. And you get to go out and do... Other... Let's go see what it is. You know it's going to be something silly like... Destroy a pygmy! The king wants to employ six demons. In order for him to do so, we need to look outside the kingdom. Bring us them and we'll let you through. Hmm. Well... Not really what I was expecting. Oh, gosh. There's already a purple gate there. There's the card of inexhaustible ore that I need to get. Alas, traveler. Monastery. It is day six. We do have more of you, and we have a few more of you as no as well. Do I have enough people that I can get something done here? Can you acquire some more gold for me? Not in a traditional sense, but if you give me a little bit of time... I can most assuredly do something for you. Oh boy, howdy. That guy is real close to me. I got you a little bit of extra gold. You're welcome. That was that great personal risk, by the way. I am ambushed. No, not by the large-nosed imp. Whatever shall I do? I do not know. <laughs> yeah. That happened. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, well we can get our points back, which is nice. I'm a little concerned that he can maybe weasel his way over to me, but eh, he's probably not going to. Probably not going to do it. All right, do we have enough? We do. Fantastic. All right. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, friend, but <laughs> you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of happened. Oh, good. I was a little concerned there. The concern was brief. It was. Bzz. No, you know, good for you. Hmm. But le less, less good for you. Um. Sure, it's not going to be that difficult for us to get that quest done. Then I, I'm surmising at this point. So the purple guy is going to be our, our Huckleberry. Gonna be the one that we're gonna have to deal with the most. I'm fine with that. I'll probably get some more stuff done. Yeah, they can be afraid of us if they want. It's not really gonna make any difference. We're just gonna kill them anyway, right? So. Nanny, 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 nanny. Dead. And dead. Uh, awed by our power, if only we got experience for them retreating like cowards. Meh. I say you'll probably survive that. Oh. Well, I actually did not expect you to survive both. So many options on how to slaughter you. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a little embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll knock at the gates here. that That's what you guys left to, to stop me? That was your big stopgap there? Was just to send some zombies against me? Like, that in some world was ever going to work? Yeah, well, well, whatever. Yay. Oh no, I'm ambushed. Oh, this one's actually a bit more, a bit more, you know, meh. 
Alright, let's say good day to you, sirs. Goodbye. Well, I feel like this is going to become super easy if we just slaughter them immediately, but eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Can't quite go through there yet. We've already visited that. Um, eh, let's head back up. It's going to be mildly inconvenient. The ground in front of you splits open, spitting a foul smoke that makes you choke. For a moment you expect an ambush, but when the troglodytes start crawling from the stinking pit, you realize they are just as surprised to see you as you are to see them. They're just workers, and uh, but they know that the enemy, or, but they know an enemy when they see one, and raise their crude weapons attacking. I figured it was gonna say they're just workers, but they're gonna be vicious, nasty people who will attack an enemy on sight. But eh, it's kind of true, I guess. But meh. Well, I almost feel bad having to kill workers. You know, that's not fair to them. It's not fair to us. All right, let's waddle on forward. Are you going to attack? Yeah, there we go. I know the air elemental is, like, in all regards better than this dude, but, eh. It's more fun just to sit here and watch him get slowly chipped away. Oh, we can kill the giant rock man, guys. I swear is it. Oh, they killed one of my people. See, now that's unacceptable. Now you're going to have to die for that. that. See, that's just not cool, man. All right, that means you're dead, too. He's a very lucky large rock monster, but eh. Hey, Sylvia found some treasure. I like it. Yeah, I'll fight the monks. Yeah, let's go. What do you got? Oh, we get to go first? Sweet. I'd say probably our lightning's going to be strong enough to say good day. Yep. I would actually like to recruit some monks. Thank you for asking. Get some high morale and luck stuff going our way. And do we have any monies or things that we can do to do things that need to be done? Nope. Alright, that's going to be our move. And we'll end the turn. I mean, we're still not super rich, but we're okay. I don't want to fight. You know what? I'm not going to fight you. Eh. Alright, I am going to take your town, though. Oh, look at you guys. You're like a real little army in there. That's so cute. I mean, they're going to hurt me pretty badly, but it's still adorable. Oh, look. Remember when I said they're going to hurt me real badly? I may have overstated exactly what was going to happen. Because, little known fact, they just kind of got wrecked. Just a little bit. Oh, gate's open now, too. I suppose you guys are going to try to run away. It's, it's not really going to really work. Meh. Foom. Ow. Uh, no. Uh, can I attack this thing? Not until you destroy all the other walls, I believe is how that works. Mm. Should probably make some sort of move, buddy. Alright, now, if I'm not wrong, we have a resurrection spell somewhere. I'm wrong. We don't have one. We really don't? Wow, that's depressing. Huh. Okay. Well, that's, that's kind of sad. Whatever. We took the town. It's ours. Very underwhelming. But it's ours nonetheless. Guess we'll just get a market. I don't really have a plan beyond having done what I've already done. 
It's just kind of like a, well, we did it, surprise, type situation. It wasn't like, hey, let's go see if we can't take this town and, oh, yeah, well, we did. Whoopsie. One of those situations like, well, what do I do now? I kind of took the big bad town and now we're just kind of going through the motions, I, I guess. Hey, they want to join me? Sure. We have a town that can actually benefit from those. Speaking of towns benefiting, training grounds still not available. Why? Is it money? It is money. Well, I guess the Griffin Bastion's probably okay. Yeah, we're going to have to get our town halls up and running. I feel like most of the folks are underground. The demons flying the purple banner are well entrenched behind several garrisons guarding the paths to their lands. Not really, they're defeated already, sort of. It's as if they were waiting for my arrival. We can't move on unless we remove that threat. I don't want them at my back, so we need to defeat them as soon as possible. A long, drawn-out battle will only benefit the enemy. Yeah, you know, that's not, that's not inaccurate in any way, friend. You are correct. All right, what do you got for me? Capital needs a castle. The castle needs this thing to be built, I guess. It's fine. What are we doing over here? That's the wrong building. What are we doing over here? City Hall. We need a blacksmith. Don't worry. We'll start making our money soon. We will start making our cash monies soon. Yeah, I'll recruit the archers. Uh... Yeah, we could probably kill the evil eyes. It's going to be annoying because we lose the archers we just recruited, but whatever. Can I just do, like, death wall and just put it over there and just, like, kill all of you at once? No. Yeah, I know. I'm going to help. No, you're not. Alright, whatever. Victory is ours. We didn't lose all of them, so I guess that's good. Um... I don't know. It's over here. Ah, there's our way up and down. Hey, they want to join me too. We're going to have just a random hodgepodge of individuals. Hey, look at that. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll take this and then come kill you and stuff. We're about to break off the episode, ladies and gentlemen. So after this battle, the episode will be over. And I don't know, I feel like the map is already mostly over at this point. I feel like we're... Oh, we've actually used a lot of our spells. We've not done a lot of actual old school fighting. Like actual fighting. So we're, we're lacking a bit on that front. Attack me, I dare you, yo. You did. And you did. Eh. Thousand gold, which I do not have. Oh no. Well, I have it now. More attack power. I guess we'll claim this as well. I mean, I don't really need to fight most of these guys. I mean, it's kind of silly when you think about it. Alright, a little bit of tiny, tiny amount of gold for us there. Some more pikemen join the old roster. And yeah, we pretty much have the entire upper map done, folks. So, with that, I suppose I will break off the episode. I definitely want to get this stuff handled down here, and that is going to be my first priority in the next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.